Hey friends, welcome back to Vlogmas. I'm really excited to be doing this again this year. This is my second year doing it. Last year I made longer videos every few days and this year I think I'm gonna try to do a shorter video for all 25 days. So we'll see how it goes, fingers crossed. I managed to do all 25. Today's video is really just gonna be this wood bead garland that I've been wanting to make for our Christmas tree. And I'm mixing in some vintage beads to it, so I think it will be a really fun, cute decoration. coming out on this patio in the morning you can just hear the ocean it's so relaxing just sit up here drink some coffee it's wonderful so that's gonna be my morning ritual for today I'm really excited to make this garland I have these old necklaces these were my great-grandma's they're just costume jewelry so it's nothing too expensive um, and I wanted to repurpose them. I don't know if I'm going to use both. I might just use this red one. I really like the red one because I feel like it kind of looks like cranberries, which is really festive. And all I'm going to do is gather up all of these beads in this tray once I'm pulling them off the necklace. And then I'm going to also mix in my wooden beads that I want to put on. And I also have one little gold bead, which we'll just throw in there because why not? And all I'm going to do is string these on. I have this thread left over from my point shoes, actually. The reason I like it, it's waxed, it's really sturdy, and so I think it will work really well for a project like this and I'm gonna keep it on the roll so that way or the spool I guess it's, that way it doesn't all the beads don't come off as I'm um, putting them on I don't know if this needle will be too big for the red beads but this needle is a good size for my wooden beads so I might have to change it out to a smaller one which wouldn't be a huge deal and as I go I'm just gonna keep pushing beads down and pulling more thread off of the spool until I use up all the beads and get it to the length that I want. Now I'm just going to tie it off using another bead. I'm going to get it as tight as possible so it doesn't shift around and put it up on the tree. Something exciting that came in the mail today were these little candles. So I got this wax stamp and basically you just take one of the colors, you light it until it starts melting and then you just slowly drip it onto your envelope or your present or whatever. Um, I want to try it out. I've never done it before. I think it's going to take some practice because I'm not quite sure how much wax I need to get that look where it's pushed around the whole edge so we'll just see how this goes and I'll probably redo it again later and show you some more in another video. You're supposed to press it down for about 10 seconds pretty much letting the wax cool for a little bit. I really like the flower print on it, but I do need more wax, so for next time I'll know. Alright friends, I think that is it for today's Vlogmas. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you tomorrow.